We're delighted to have in studio with us today, Rosa Molsek, who is the Executive Director of Safe Haven. Welcome, Rosa. It's always great to see you here. Thank you, Darlene, for having me today. Well, we've got some interesting things to talk about, don't we? We sure do. Okay, well, first of all, for those who may not know what Safe Haven Maternity Home is about, uh, give us a little background. Yes, Safe Haven Maternity Home is a local nonprofit maternity home serving Douglas County's young women, 13 and older, who are pregnant or have a baby that are homeless or in a crisis. For 23 years, we have provided a safe home, nurturing environment, 24-hour accountability, nutritious meals, parenting and life skills training, and the structure needed for a healthy mother and baby. And during our last fiscal year, Safe Haven provided 4,147 shelter nights to 23 women and 22 children. And over the course of our the 23 years, we've had the privilege of helping over 500 women and their babies. That is remarkable when you yes. think about the impact that that has on society. Yes. Young women getting a chance to get their life straightened out and to become parents of children that are going to be Uh, useful citizens as well. I mean, we don't realize how many generations are affected by that. Exactly. From my understanding, I wish I had those stats in front of me, but it's uh, three generations after we make those positive life changes that we affect. And I think it was an equivalent in the hundreds of the other lives that we touch by the changes and encouragement and empowerment we give to others in our lifetime. That's right. Wow, that yes. makes perfect sense because it's a, it's the very seed that God used to uh, propagate the entire world was through families and yes. children. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that's that is wonderful. Well, what services are offered there at Safe Haven? For each resident, when they live at Safe Haven, an individualized plan that maximizes their potential for success. A safe, nurturing home with 24-hour care and nutritious meals. We provide transportation to school, medical appointments, community agencies, and job appointments. We help assist with parenting, education, and independent living skills. We teach the girls how to budget their money and money management training. We have an on-site personal counselor with an emphasis on communication, and that's where we find Uh, a lot of people lose themselves is to um, not be able to properly communicate what they have or how they feel Mm -hmm. and not be it that communication not be led by emotions and feelings and still be validated for who they are and how they feel. Communication skills are breaking down like crazy anymore, aren't they? They sure are because we're stuck in our technology. And when the lights go out, that's when I like it the best because we have to sit around and play games and learn how to play together and talk. So yes, they sure are. Um, We also offer computer training. We've talked about that technology. We also help assist them with continued education or career planning, getting them involved in getting their general education, whether it be GED, high school diploma, or getting them out to the UCC college. Um, We also encourage healthy lifestyles by having a membership at the Y, smoking cessation classes, seeking safety classes, boundaries classes. Um, We also facilitate transition into permanent housing and we do follow-up care. We've just started that recently with more of an intention to know if our girls need a ride to get groceries after they've moved out. Um, Mm -hmm. They can call us and get that because sometimes we take uh, transportation for granted as well. Well, well, I know. Mm -hmm. Well, I know because Mm -hmm. I know that uh, having lost the use of my arm for a little period of time, not being able to drive my car. Yes, it's a freedom. Wow. <laughs> you almost, wow. Yeah, if Makes you don't you, have it. If mm-hmm. you don't have it, you realize, oh my goodness, this could be bad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then you have to be creative and right. find out what the resources are in town. That's leads to my next thing about um, mm-hmm. community partnership. The biggest thing for people who are in our community is that there are so many resources out there, but they don't have a clue where to start asking for help right. and what's appropriate and If they are engaged in something, they don't know the extent of how that can help them and be part of their support system. Right. That's important. Yeah. Residents can stay up to one year in our home after their baby is born and our Our services extend to all women, regardless of race, ethnicity, religion, mental and physical challenges or ability to pay. Wow. That is amazing. Absolutely mm -hmm, amazing. mm -hmm. So what is a cost for someone to get help there at Safe Haven? Oh, goodness. Um, I'm just so proud of this number. We've driven this down over the last two years. It costs only $34.57 per night per person in our community to receive our program services. That's pretty cheap. That is amazing. It is. It's affordable. uh, I should say so. You can't go anywhere and have overnight 
and meals. Mm -hmm. And transportation. And transportation. And then mentorship. And all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Yes. So you have a pretty good success rate then on people that are, once they go through this system. We sure do. We started tracking numbers um, in a different way this last year with our last year statistics. And we are showing an 83% success rate. And that means that they are living independently, that they still have custody of their children, and that their recovery is on track. Praise the Lord. Yes. That is amazing. It is. That is amazing. So uh, what type of needs does Safe Haven have? Well, the greatest need that we have is financial support, basically because our organization is fully community supported. We receive no government funding, but we depend on individuals, donations, foundations, and churches in our community to support us in order for us to provide a safe home with hope for a better future, one mother and baby at a time. So that's, uh, that is imperative that it people is. understand that. And along that line, I guess you're going to be having something special like uh, a banquet coming up, right? We sure are. We're having our third annual benefit dinner, A Little Taste of Italy at the Roseburg Country Club on January 29th. That was delicious last year, come to oh, think of it. Yes. It was. And I remember I dare that. not change it all at all. <laughs> no, don't change that one. That was good. <laughs> yes. And that is another need of ours. Um, we have, uh, the community has been so gracious of giving this year. Um, a lot of people are finding it hard to extend that giving. Mm -hmm. And so I would challenge anybody, if you can donate for basket items or oral auction items, which is were a value of $200 or over, call me, donate, please. This is how we keep our doors open. And it is vital to have that community support. Well, we're, time is just about gone, so uh, give us some more ticket information and the phone number to call to get them. Yes, okay? please call us at 541-464-2740. Um, tickets are available at my office if you need them. They're $55 a person, or a table of eight is $375. This dinner starts at 6 p.m. on January 29th, so um, come enjoy the evening and like i said you can get a hold of us at 541-464-2740 well thank you so much rosa as usual wonderful information and inspirational for sure thank you thank you too for listening to accent if you'd like to know more about safe haven go to their website which is www.safehavenmaternityhome.org. And don't forget to attend that wonderful dinner at the Roseburg Country Club on January 29th. The time is actually 6.30 for the dinner, and the social mixer starts at 6 p.m. Tickets are $55 per person, or for a table of eight, it's $375. That phone number again is 541-464-2740.